So in this video, I'm going to talk about pedigrees and explain what pedigrees are. To begin with, a pedigree is essentially just a family tree that shows phenotypes of individuals. And this can be done in humans as well as other animals. Um, but in humans, pedigrees are generally used to determine the individual genotypes of a person and to predict the mode of transmission of a single gene. And by that, we mean to determine if the gene is dominant or negative. I mean, recessive, sorry. And so as you can see down here, we have some different, um, I guess, symbols to represent people. And so women are circles, represented as circles, and men are represented as squares. And so as you can see, the ones that are colored in mean that they have the gene or phenotype. And sometimes a phenotype will be recessive, sometimes it'll be dominant. And also another thing to note is that usually it goes by order of birth. So let's look at this, these um, children right here. So the one on the left is generally going to be the oldest, that's just by convention, and the one on the right is the youngest. One thing to remember is you're not always going to get a very nice picture like this where they tell you carriers, so that gives you the exact phenotype. Sometimes you're going to have to figure it out. And so most likely you're going to use the pedigree to determine whether a trait is autosomal dominant or recessive or sex link dominant or recessive. And so what does that mean? Well, autosomal means that it's the gene is located on a chromosome other than a sex chromosome. And in humans, this means it's not on an X chromosome or a Y chromosome. And obviously, the other type is sex linked, which means that the trait is on the X or Y chromosome. And generally, sex-linked traits are going to be on the X chromosome just because it's a lot bigger than the Y, so it has a lot more genes. And so one thing to note about autosomal dominant traits is that every person is going to have a parent that is affected or has the genotype. And this is due to the fact that the allele cannot hide, and so it would definitely be expressed in one of the parents. Now, on the other hand, recessive traits, the parents are generally not affected. The parents are generally carriers. And then lastly, one thing to mention about sex-linked traits is that they are going to affect males more often than females. For example, colorblindness is a sex-linked trait. And this is because males have one X chromosome and y, one Y chromosome. And so if the male gets a faulty gene, for example, a gene that represents colorblindness, then it's always going to be expressed because there's no other chromosome to mask it. Females, on the other hand, have two X chromosomes. So if they get one bad one, or one bad allele, I mean, they can have the other one kind of take over the normal one. And that's obviously assuming that the trait is recessive. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.